For this Arduino project, you will need 9 things. The first thing you'll need is an Arduino Nano or any type of Arduino microcontroller to power up the robot. The second thing you'll need is the PCB. You don't always need a PCB, you could use a breadboard and a bunch of wires. But in this case, I wanted it to look clean and look nice, so I used a PCB. This PCB can hold up to 12 servos. These two slots aren't working, they're broken, so there's 12, 1, and then 11 on this side. The next couple of pieces you'll need are the 3D printed parts. These are going to be the feet, this is going to be the leg, and this is going to be the body. For those of you who haven't watched our previous videos, this is the same body we used for our hexapod. And these two are the same parts we used for our cheetah robot. The next part is the battery. It's a rechargeable 6 volt battery. You'll need 8 screws. These screws come with the servo motors. And a screwdriver to screw them in. And the last thing you'll need are the servo motors. You will need eight of them, two on each leg. To assemble one leg, you'll need the two main parts. To assemble the leg, two servos, and two screws. To assemble the leg, you will have to get one servo. This should be at 90 degrees. So both of them should be at 90 degrees like this, facing towards their wires. You put one piece in like this, and you screw it in from this area. As you can see, we drilled in a small little hole at the top to hold the screw. In the STL file, the bigger hole isn't there. So if you want to make this with screws, then you should just drill it in. It's not really that hard. So there, that's servo number one in, and servo number two. You'll need glue for the second part of the leg because the screw holes aren't that big, and I didn't have time to drill holes into them, and I didn't want to break it because it's really fragile. That's the second servo in, and now this is the part that you need glue in. So you're going to snap it on like this, make sure you don't break the wire, and it'll go in like this. Just, just apply some glue at the sides over here and make sure it's straight because sometimes it might be diagonal like that make it straight once you've done the first leg just place them all like this and then we're gonna assemble the base by putting it right there once you get it in this position make sure to glue the base on the servos and then we can move on to the wiring after you're done gluing on the base like this you get your PCB and your Arduino Nano and you connect them on I'll explain how the PCB works. Over here, we have these 11 digital I.O. pins. The one all the way on the left is the one that's connected to the digital pin over here. You can see digital pin number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Those are 11 right here. And this extra pin over here is for the GND. You can see it's a bit tilted backwards, so it's easier to put the wire on. Back here, the GND is just connected from here with solder going straight, and then it connects onto this whole row over here. This middle row is all connected together because the 5V and you can see this white wire connects it to the 5V pin over here. And there's also an extra one pin over here for the 5 volts. This wire over here connects it to digital pin number 13 up there. The middle one is the 5 volt which goes into these two white wires over here. And this yellow wire is the GND which connects onto the big GND row right over here. So that's the PCB. Here's the battery. This is the front of the robot. So the battery will go somewhere over here and the PCB will snap on right there. So that is the robot right now without the wiring. So now let's do the wiring. For the wiring we're going to connect on 8 servos so that means 4 of the digital I.O. pins will not be used. We're going to be using 2 to 9. So first things first we're going to connect on this thing, this wire. We're going to connect this servo's wire onto digital pin number 2 and this second servo motor onto digital pin number 3 we're going to do the same thing this servo is going to go next then this one then this one then this one then this one and then this one enjoy this time lapse and this is the last wire and just like that we have our robot finished. All we have to do now is upload the code. So our servo motor broke, that's why we can't show you guys how this robot works. But instead I'll put a clip of another robot we made just like this so you guys can watch that instead.